Um, now on to the assignment. Ghana records over 1,500 cases of suicide every year, with the most of its victims being people who have mental health challenges. On the assignment um, this week on TV3, uh, Nuan Falong takes us on a journey about mental health and suicide. Let's take a look. Depression is a common mental disorder characterized by persistent moodiness or loss of interest in daily activities leading to significant impairment. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages, classes and creed suffer from depression. Possible causes include a combination of biological, psychological and social sources of distress. Increasingly, research suggests these factors may cause changes in brain function including altered activity of certain neural circuits in the brain. The persistent feeling of sadness or loss of interest that characterizes major depression can lead to a range of behavioral and physical symptoms. These may include changes in sleep, appetite, energy level, concentration, daily behavior or self-esteem. We all can be sad, we all can be depressed one day or two days when you have reason to be sad. If I've lost a dear one, and that is good reason for me to be sad and, or depressed, that is normal. But that will last for just a two, three, four days. But whatever reason, if it lasts for more than two weeks, that is depression. I can't handle a lot of stress. I've had a lot of relationship issues. I've had issues with work and a number of things. We live in a place where people don't actually believe that stuff like this are medical and they happen. So you, you wonder why me? It could have been malaria, it could have been sickle cell. You know, if you have sickle cell and you're reacting like nobody goes like you're a sports person or you're immoral or whatever. And there are times that like, you actually lose it. You go like, let me end it all like i'm causing too much pain to my family or my friends maybe if i'm really out that point you actually think that way it's not like something cut for some category of people for the poor for this middle class for the no because across everybody can suffer it and there is treatment for it i mean there is treatment for me this thing has gone on for over 10 years and the thing is that I didn't want to accept it. According to the World Health Organization, 650,000 Ghanaians suffer from a severe mental disorder and a further 2,166,000 are suffering from moderate to mild mental disorder. When you talk about depression, it becomes like, ah, it's like something so strange or something new to people, but it is very real. We are not paying attention to it. I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. So growing up, I went through various stage of bullying and I lost basically everything. My childhood, my confidence. I hated everything about school. We are in, in a situation where people are more likely to make fun of you, even if you're depressed than giving you a helping hand and it's not helping ghana has 30 million people but only 26 psychiatric doctors three psychiatric hospitals seven community-based psychiatric inpatient units four community residential facilities and one day treatment center with a mere 1.4 percent of the total health budget allocated to mental health most facilities are isolated understaffed and poorly maintained most psychiatrists are mainly based in specialist hospitals in Accra, leaving other regions in Ghana with little to no access to mental health care. In the mental health law, you find the establishment of the mental health fund. This fund has been launched, but there is nothing in the fund. Government is supposed to commit to ensure that there is enough fund to overhaul mental health in Ghana. We always come to give the excuses that there is no money, but there are certain things that happen that we'll find the money. We, we don't really know the, our priorities also when it comes to our own health. Because mental health is something that we should all be concerned about. The Mental Health Authority reveals Ghana records about 1,500 suicide cases annually.
The statistics are staggering, yet some cases go unreported because Section 57 Clause 2 of the 1960 Criminal Code of Ghana criminalizes suicide. Many civil society organizations have called for an amendment to scrap attempted suicide as a criminal offense. So double jeopardy. I mean, the person is already depressed, he's looking for a solution, he hasn't gotten, then he finds himself in the prison. I mean, what kind of complexity is this? And these laws, we took them from, I mean, we received them from the uh, common law uh, country, Britain. Over the years, they have changed this law. It's no longer there. But we still have it. What, what is wrong with us? The spate of suicides in Ghana, especially as recorded in 2017, when four cases of suicide were reported within a space of two weeks. Hmm, very, very interesting topic there, depression and suicides. Um, joining me here in the studios to talk about um, this um, are Nuong Falong, who is a journalist and presenter, among other things, here at uh, Media General. She's the creator of the documentary. And right beside her is Dr. Frank Benning, the director of Pantang Hospital. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Amazing. Uh, very, very interesting topic. Nuong, let's start with you. What, what motivated you to even, you know, create a documentary about, about depression health, and mental health? Yeah. Um, in June, mm -hmm. I, I lost a friend oh. to suicide. And uh, this was a very good friend. Mm. And the, the most confusing part was that I spoke to him that day. Mm. I spoke to him several times. And he, he mentioned, you know, he, was having, he had been suffering for over 10 years. Wow. Um, we talked about it. I gave him some numbers to call. Mm -hmm. Uh, some doctors, resource people, mm -hmm. and he, he, he did agree that he was going to do something about it. And by 6 p.m. he's dead. Wow. You know, so I think it was mainly for, to, to help myself understand mm -hmm. what he was feeling mm -hmm. um, and what led him to that. Mm -hmm. And just to understand mental health in general, because I realized I didn't know much about the subject yeah. and so i decided to do this to do this but did, did, did he tell you what what exactly was wrong with him that he was depressed or what exactly it was he had been erratic for for um let's say over from 2007 okay so that's about 12 years mm. um he had seen a few therapists okay. and some doctors okay. and it wasn't working for him okay. sometimes he's on medication for a while mm. he goes off um he feels okay mm. and then it comes back you know, mm. uh, after a bit. a bit. So he was a swing case. Yeah. You know, it would come, it would go, and he had no control, yeah. you know, over when it would come and when it would go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Dr. Benning, sometimes we throw the word about lightly, but what exactly is depression? We want so, to understand that before we get into it. Thank you. So, um, basically, depression is a mental disorder. Mm. Okay. And we need to be careful not to mix it with this everyday uh, reactive responses to situations. Mm. We all get moody sometimes, yeah. we get sad every yeah. now and then because something is not going right or something is not going well. Yeah. Major life events, but we come out of it, okay? But when you talk about depression, yeah. it's a mental disorder. And the main theme in there is a depressed mood for more than two weeks. Oh, okay. And it comes along in combination with other symptoms Okay. So it's not on its own. Okay. So okay. what are these symptoms? Some of the symptoms are, like I said earlier, a depressed mood mm. going on for more than two weeks. Exactly. And it's happening like most time of the day, mm. almost every day, mm. that sort of thing. Then there's also this um, a markedly diminished loss of interest in activities. Okay. It could also be loss of pleasure. Mm. Okay, in activities that otherwise you do easily, you take interest yeah. in, they give you the normal pleasure that everybody gets from some activities. Yeah. Okay. And then the other things that come with it, like weight loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's not only weight loss, it could be weight gain as well. Okay. You're looking at a change in weight when the person is not dieting. A drastic one. Yes. Like, okay. let's say about 5% of the body weight within a month. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, mm. then their sleep tends to be disturbed. Mm. So it could be 
they are not sleeping well, or they are sleeping too much. Too much. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you have um, problems with your energy okay. levels, so you seem to be tired most of the time. Okay. Okay. Then there are issues with your thoughts. Okay. In what well, sense? Yes, where you become very desperate, uh, sometimes hopeless. Mm. Uh, sometimes you have these guilt feelings that are not really founded. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then also, they have difficulties with their thinking. So they become indecisive. They are not able to concentrate properly. Mm. They have challenges making decisions. Mm. You know. Then there's, there's also thoughts of suicide. Mm. It keeps coming up. So it sounds like is everything it, is wrong. Exactly. <laughs> is it in every case or? No, the thoughts of suicide is not with every case. Okay. Indeed, um, when you categorize it, you have mild, moderate, okay. and then severe based on the number of symptoms you get. Oh, okay. 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 Sometimes they even become psychotic where they lose touch with reality. Oh, wow. Like you would see in um, something like schizophrenia, okay. which is a very severe form of mental, mental disorder. Yeah. Okay. And then in our setting, we tend to see a lot of cases who have these unexplained medical symptoms. Okay. This persistent chronic headache. Okay. Um, pain here, pain there. Mm. Uh, malaise. Okay. You know, tiredness. Yes. You know, all those things. Mm. It's another category that we tend to okay. um, see. So can I self-diagnose? Can I, you know, look at all these things that are giving me and say, okay, I have a five out of ten or eight out of ten, and so I am depressed? Or yes, indeed. Um, the first two mm -hmm. is called to it: the depressed mood or the um, the diminished interest mm -hmm. or loss of pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's key. And then if you have any other two of yeah. the others that we mentioned, yeah. then you're looking at something that is of a, of a mild nature. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm assessing then, myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> then you add two to it, you mm. get into uh, moderate, and then you get into severe. Yeah. Okay. But once the suicide attempts, yeah. thoughts and attempts, then yeah. you're looking at something that is severe. Severe. Okay. Once you have this complete loss of touch with reality, yeah. then you're looking at something that is severe. Severe. Okay. All right. Um, and what are the various types? of um you know the severe cases what with, with those that you have seen how have they exactly manifested just really quickly oh people are unique and okay. they manifest in different ways okay. i mean but if we're talking about those that are very severe then yeah. you're looking at those that have come along with um suicide attempts mm. then quickly becomes an emergency you yeah. need to make sure that the person is well monitored there is mm. enough support yeah uh, most often would admit such a person yeah okay, okay. When you see one coming in with um, psychosis, which is the loss of touch with reality, reality, then you see that this is something that is very severe. Okay. You need to do something about it. Okay. Okay. Right. When you see one that is gone on for a very long time, mm -hmm. to the extent that it's affected, the person has become dysfunctional. Right. It's actually has affected almost every sphere of the person's life. Mm. To the point that they probably can't go to work. Wow. Um, they probably can't take care of their home. Okay. Um, especially nursing mothers. Yeah. Mm neglect yeah and it tends to affect um, um the baby in many ways wow. the health of the baby mm. okay when you see things like that then you, you want to, to think it's cases. very severe but mm. you see the truth is about diseases yeah when you see them early mm -hmm. it's not as scary okay as we know it could happen when mm. it's severe okay mm -hmm. so we shouldn't always be looking at what is severe we should look at how to prevent it okay Promote good mental health and how to prevent it. Okay. And as much as possible, nip it as soon as we see something see that something. is mild. Yeah. All right. Start along. What what stood out for you throughout <clears throat> this process? Stigma. Mm. Um, the stigma was the big thing for me. Mm. Because there were so many people I spoke to who were having mental health challenges. Mm. There were several people who were my friends. Um, people I had worked with mm -hmm. in the past who admitted to having mental health challenges but did not want to speak on camera. Oh. Um, it, it was very difficult getting people to speak on camera, to own it, yeah. you know, and come out and say that, yes, I have mental why health is, challenges. Why is that? 
But because people look at them like, oh, ah, uh, Sagi on Wabo Damda. Oh, wow. you know, yeah, you know, like that. That yeah. is the perception. People have still not gotten to that point where they see mental health as a regular illness. Mm. You know, like you have a mind. Yeah. Every mind has an illness. Like everybody has an illness. Yes. You know. Um. So the stigma was a huge challenge. There were parents um who refused to speak. Mm. There were uh professional people yeah you know who were very fine talking to me yeah. but the moment you tell them you want to record it they, they, they just step back wow. you know so uh the stigma was a huge mm -hmm. huge oh, yeah. challenge yeah amazing and mm -hmm. um, i know that there's um a health there's supposed to be a suicide um call center or help help center um how is, is that functioning is that really helping um with you know your cases it is it's okay. functional and um a lot of people are calling into it. You need sometimes, I mean, you have to call more than once to be able to get through. Oh, wow. So it's just working. But I think mm. uh, we need to improve upon it. Okay. I mean, you can't just have one right. center. I mean, we need to decentralize it. Yeah. This is something that should be in the regions, yes. should be in the districts. Nationwide, yes. People can have easy access mm. to these services. Okay. Okay. And I also, also want to believe that, I mean, the traffic on that line is as a result of we having very few people manning it. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. At okay. the moment, it's just two numbers. But oh. I think these are things that... For the whole be... of Ghana? Yes. Just two numbers? Yes. But there are other NGOs who have similar services. Mm. So, for example, I know Legon, there is a service. Okay. There is a number. I'm not mm -hmm. too sure about the number. Mm. And then even from a hospital, we're also trying to come up with a call line. Okay. Sort of a helpline. Yeah, yeah. Where people can just call even if you don't have credits mm. i mean to be taken care of taken care of yes okay. so i think uh, it's something that is going to be improved okay. over the year especially with this year the world mental health day theme being suicide and suicide prevention mm. i'm sure we're going to put a lot of um, focus on how on to that. develop these things i hope um, the ministry of health will also take it seriously when, when is the world um, 10th of october mm. yes you talked about the cure you, you, so it's actually curable mental mental um, illness yes okay I just mean, give us a few ways and then we'll advise um, the people at home as well mm. those who are in it um, who think that they can't get help and then those who are around them as well mental disorders are treatable okay okay and sometimes when we talk about mental disorders, we make it look like it's all one mm. disease. No. Yeah. I mean, it comes in various forms. There yeah. are many different types of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they are completely treatable. Okay. Just like you have malaria mm -hmm. and then you have hypertension and diabetes. Okay. Yeah. There are some that you need to be on medication. Okay. Like you would take medicine for hypertension and diabetes. Yeah. You have to take it every day. If you stop taking it, gradually your sugar will go up oh. gradually your blood pressure will go up mm. Mm. okay yeah so that's what happens with the very severe forms when you take something like schizophrenia or yeah. psychosis okay even then when we've treated people for a very long time along that we'll be able to stop but what happens is that once you have suffered it yeah. your threshold yeah to a relapse mm. is reduced okay so major stress and some relapse, relapse. But at the same time, there are a lot of the disorders yeah. that you will treat and it won't recur again. Oh, okay. So okay. you take things like you okay. will treat depression. And for some people, it's a one-off thing and it will yeah. never happen again. Okay. Even for psychosis. Right. Some are self-limiting. Okay. By itself, it can go gone. away. And quite often, that is what uh, spiritual people mm, exactly. you know, feed on. Yeah. Easy. Anxiety, uh, same thing. You treat and then it's gone. Mm. And if you take good care of yourself... Yeah good mental health good healthy lifestyles and mm. things like that and sometimes these things never um recur again. recur again so last words um advice quick advice for um those watching um quick advice yeah. um well this is actually timely because october is also the the mental health yeah. uh, month so throughout october there are going to be a lot of uh talks and sensitizations yeah. um to ensure that people know what is going on yeah. um also there's a lot of ignorance yeah. around mental health because sometimes people are experiencing symptoms but they yeah. don't even know they don't exactly. they can't recognize that these symptoms are associated with with mental health issues um get help yeah get help that's that's the main thing
thing. Okay. If you, you're confused about your symptoms, if you know someone who's, yeah. you know, showing signs. Some of us even have friends, some days they wake up and they say, I'm just tired of life, yeah, you right. know. You should so take those, those things seriously. Yeah. Um, take the person to a psychiatrist. Yes. Drag the person, if you have to, to yeah. the hospital. Let them get some kind of care. I'm glad you mentioned the professional because those are the ones that you yes. should move to so yes. that they can help yes. you adequately. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Nuong Falong of Media General and Dr. Bini of Pantang Hospital. I think it's been uh, a good one and I'm sure people, um, our people out there have also learned a thing or two. Don't sleep on it. Help someone out there. And if you know you're in this, get help. There's nothing wrong with admitting it.